to the Indian Records Music Show with your hosts, Doug and Jeff. Live from Derby, Kansas, 15 watts of power. Welcome to the show tonight. This is Doug, all the way from Derby, Kansas. And this is Jeff from Los Angeles, California. Yet another installment of the Doug and Jeff Show. Doug, how you doing, man? Jeff, I'm doing so great that I want to tell you, before you interrupt me, that we're having pictures, we're having comedy, we're having the oh, Doug oh, and Jeff oh, mini oh, cartoon... Oh, oh. But, Doug, Doug, hold up, hold up. What? I, I wanted to bring up, before we get started with the show, I thought I'd bring up this little piece that's kind of near and dear to my heart, if you don't again, mind. Is that again, right? again, man? Yeah, again, it's, it's all right. It, it'll only be for a minute or so. Yeah. Uh, I wanted to let you know that I, uh, proud owner of my new home here in Los Angeles, I bought a house in Los Angeles. Cool. Now, uh, you know, before the Doug and Jeff show started, I lived in Nome, Alaska for 12 years. Uh, yes. When you invited me to join the show, well, when I invited myself to join the show, uh, I thought, well, you know what, I only have a dial-up system here in Alaska, so I, I need to get a nice, solid internet connection, so that's when I decided to move to Los Angeles. At any rate, I bought my first home down here, and it really uh, takes me back because it, it's just like the home I used to have in Nome, and here's a picture of it right here. Oh, Jeff, man, that is cool. It is cool, isn't it? I don't yeah. have any windows in there, but we're going to put in a nice big bay window on the side there. So it's, uh, it's cute, you know, cute, man. No, is it cold inside or or, or not? It's actually it's made out of plastic. It's not it's not actual ice cubes. You know, oh, you know. yeah. Also, because that would only last for like you know half an hour, forty five minutes before we melt. At any rate, I'm getting off track. During the move, I came across an old photo album that I used to have that I haven't seen in years. I wanted to share some of the pictures with the uh, audience because I think they'll enjoy them probably yeah. maybe as much as I do. Hey, all right, let's see them. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, when I, here it is. Yeah, there it is. When I was growing up, my dad was very forward thinking in that we had one of the first smoke alarm, smoke detectors in our house even before smoke detectors became popular. And here's a picture of it right there. Right there. there. Look at that. Yeah. Jeff, that brings back so many memories, man, because, you know, I know you guys were the first in the neighborhood to get it, but we were the second. And me and my brothers, you know, when a fire happened in the kitchen, you know, or something, and the flames were burning and, and it was making it work, we would race to see who he could eat the most popcorn. At any rate, uh, getting back to my photo album, you remember Charles Hodge, my brother's son? Yep. Well, I had forgotten all about why he was so into all these piercings and uh, tattoos. Here's a picture of his mom right there, with Carol. Yeah. Wow. And she was my mom's sister. She was into piercings, and I think that's probably where Charles got his love. From I, I, Jeff, I heard that uh, she couldn't get a job too too easily. easily, easily no, she you know. was out of work for about 45 years. Yeah, it was. But uh, <laughs> Charles did get her a job with him, you know. They both worked in the carnival for yeah. a while. Yeah. Uh, uh, turning the page there, I remember going to my senior prom and my first date. Here's a photo of her here. Ooh. Uh, uh, yeah, I know. She beat me in arm wrestling, too. Uh, now, but we had a great time. Well. Now, Jeff, I got to be, for the audience, I got to be honest. Audience, Jeff didn't know that she had the beard. He hadn't seen her in three weeks. That's and true. So, and, and so <laughs> when he got there, he, he saw the beard and he ran away. She jumped on him and... and you know, that's how he knows he could beat her in an armor. Yeah. And, uh, you know, before Britney Spears was Britney Spears, she went to my high school. Wow. I graduated with her in my high school. Uh, I did she, not know that. picture over there. She was uh, at the prom, but she, we didn't see her a lot of her. She was drunk in the backseat of our friend's car. Uh, and here's, here's a picture of me in my first Halloween costume. We didn't have a whole lot of money back then, so we had to be creative. Jeff, I, you got to say it's cute, though, man. For paper bag, man, yeah, it was very cool. Unique. You know, yeah, unique is right. And remember that uh, Avengers gal that we that lived used to live down the block from you. I don't know if she still does or not. What's her name? Lady Avenger. Lady Avenger, right? Mm -hmm. uh, she, she had a younger sister who uh, was kind of a, an Avenger wannabe, and she uh, had her own costume. Here she is, right here. Yeah, her little name, little right? sister Avenger. Right yeah, little sister her. Avenger. Yeah. There's her photo too. And she had two dogs. She was into uh, animals, and she was kind of a. Uh, a, a early PETA type person. She had two dogs that uh, were actually in the same thing she was, and there it is right there. This that photo is of incredible, her. man. Uh, just before I moved to uh, Nome, Alaska, my dad had always wanted a hot tub, 
at his house, and he mm -hmm. finally got it. Here's a photo of it right there. We put it in the backyard. Man, we spent many of hours there before I went to Alaska. And, uh, I, I, that was a lot of fun. We had a I, blast. I bet. Yeah, I bet you had a blast. We did. Enough reminiscing. We better get going here. Carl says we need a break, so we'll be right back. Okay, we'll be back on the other side, folks. I know you're probably wondering why I called you here for this special, urgent Doug and Jeff show meeting. Well, I was taking a nap, but it was a third one for today, so I guess it's okay. Yeah, what's up, Doug? It's Carl, Jeff. He gave us two weeks' notice today. You're kidding, Doug. Didn't we give him a raise five years ago? Yeah, and we said he could use the bathroom. Besides, I was getting a little tired of him going out in the backyard. It's looking pretty grungy back there. What does he want? So, Doug, what are we gonna do? Well, Jeff, I put an ad in the paper for auditions to replace Carl on the Doug and Jeff show. Cool. I guess I'll miss that old buzzard head. So let's bring in our first auditioner. My name is Arnie Schwarzenfagen, and before we waste too much time, I must tell you that I must have my own dressing room with a jacuzzi bath, a 401 that matches 500%, three meals in my shift of a four-hour day, and I must have Friday, Saturday, Sunday off every week. My salary must also be in a high six figures. Okay, is it a deal? Uh, we'll have to think real hard about that one, Arnie. Sorry, time's up, Arnie. So, better luck next time, buddy. Who's next? Okay, Jeff. Next we have Frank Furter. Hi, guys. Hi, Mr. Furter. Hello. What do you think qualifies you to be the engineer for the Doug and Jeff show? Well, uh, my TV stopped working one night, and uh, I looked behind it and noticed that the dog had uh, pulled out the plug, so I plugged it back in. Uh, that's a great qualification, but if you haven't heard from us in two years, start looking for another job. Well, okay, I'll be waiting for your call. <laughs> well, Jeff, what do you think? Well... I think I should go take a nap, because I, I do think best when I'm taking a nap. Okay. See you later, everybody. Yeah. Wow, man. All right. Two of the wackiest guys I've ever known. They're just as wacky as can be. They are, which, Jeff. Aren't they, though? Mm -hmm. Which is a great segue, because that brings us to our next segment, which is our in-studio guests, believe it or not, are the animated Doug and Jeff. So give them a big round of applause. Let's see applause for them. All right. Hey. Hey, Doug. How you doing, buddy? Hey, guys. How you doing, man? Good to have you here. Thanks for coming. But where's Jeff? He had a flat tire. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, I hope he's here soon. Me too. Uh, listen, the audience uh, really would like to know kind of the, the inner workings of Doug and Jeff animation. So tell us. Can you tell us anything interesting about yourself? Like, for example, what's your favorite vegetable? Charlie Sheen. <laughs> Mine too. Mine too. Yeah. That wasn't exactly. meant to be funny. Uh, do you have any hobbies that the, uh, you can tell the audience about? Writing porcupines. Ooh, that must hurt, though, after a while, huh? Well, yeah. I recite poetry. Oh, and poetry, too. I, I like poetry. Poetry is mm. Roses are red. Yep. Violets yeah, are purple. Oh, and Hi, look at uh, Big round of applause, folks. Here's Jeff. Hey, Jeff. Jeff. Hey. hey, buddy. How you doing there? Good to see you. How you doing, bud? Great. I rushed Good. as fast as I could. Yeah, I'll bet. I'll bet. You're probably all tuckered out from your change in the tire. I couldn't fix it. I had to take a bus. Yeah, I'll bet. You're right. <laughs> you got it. Right. Hey, we were asking uh, Doug here what his favorite TV show, we were about right. to ask him what his favorite TV show is. Hey, Jeff, what is your TV show that you like? The Bachelorette. Whoa! Oh. Yeah. What I about like no your favorite soup? Cream of chicken pea minestrone. I can't believe it, man. Me too. 
I, the last time I had that, I puked. Jeez. Hey, did Jeff lose your barber? <laughs> I'm just kidding, man. <laughs> hey, anyway, you guys, thanks for being on the Doug and Jeff show. Right. We'll be right back after this business. Doug, who in the heck do these guys think they are? They're a couple of punks, Jeff. Yeah, bullies. Let's just bear with it and finish this job for Carl, Jeff. And then we'll start our own show. Yeah, the Jeff and Doug show. Woo! Whoa, Jeff, were they talking about us, man? Yeah, it sounds like they're planning on starting their own show. I, 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 I wasn't aware of that. I hope they're not planning on leaving our show. I mean, I don't mind the title, Jeff and Doug show. That's, that's pretty good, but yeah. I'd hate to have them leave. Yeah, me too. You know, they're a couple good guys. They're good to... <laughs> I, I guess we'll have to ease off a little bit on him. Yeah, there's the music, Doug. So it's the end of the show already. There it is. The are going by real quick, the new Doug and Jeff mini shows. Mm -hmm. Before we get going, we want to say hello to a few of our friends that we recently got in contact with from high school. Mm -hmm. Pete Hunter is our first buddy. Good. Yes. Hey, Pete. Good Pete right there. Hello, Pete. We recently got in contact with him, and he looks like he's having a good time. We hope to see him before too long. And also... The Fife Brothers, Larry and Gary. They're yeah. back in town, man. They're back in town. And our good buddy, Tom Bukowski, and his lovely girlfriend, Debbie, uh, they recently bought a motorhome and they're going to tour the United States. They bought a Ford win. A Ford, Ford win. Yeah, and there they are. There they are, traveling Ooh. across the country. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ooh. Tom, stay up close there, buddy. Turn around. Turn around. Yeah. We wish them a safe journey and have a good time, and we hope to see them pull it up in the driveway before too long. I'll, I got a place, a room for them to stay if they want my igloo house in Los Angeles. So good, good luck to you guys once again. Have a safe journey. Yeah. Hey, and uh, we got to get going, but I want everybody to say good, take good care of each other, say a prayer for each other, and be aware of each other in this great world we live in, Jeff. You bet. Keep the faith, people. It's going to get you better, all righty? We'll see you next time on the Doug and Jeff Show. Doug, take care, buddy. Bye. See you, Jeff. <laughs>